Hello, everybody. Welcome to Two Minutes with PJ. Today's date, February 17, 2016. Our discussion is going to be on suffering. Now, suffering is found 44 times in 44 Bible verses. Okay. Again, I'm only going to give you a few of these. We're going to start in Job. As we know, God allowed Satan to test Job because he knew that Job was an obedient and afraid of him and that Job would not sin. So in Job 36, 18, watch out. Don't let your anger at others lead you into scoffing at God. Don't let your suffering embitter you at the only one who can deliver you. In Hebrews 2.10 And it was right and proper that God, who made everything for his own glory, should allow Jesus to suffer. For in doing this, he was bringing vast multitudes of God's people to heaven. For his suffering made Jesus a perfect leader, the one fit to bring them into salvation. In James, who was the half-brother of Jesus, 5.13, Is anyone among you suffering? He should keep on praying about it. And those who have reason to be thankful should continually be singing praises to the Lord. 1 Peter 4.19 So if you are suffering according to God's will, keep on doing what is right and trust yourself to God who made you for he will never fail you. Now what I'm getting here is we need to trust God and he will get us through this. So since sin, we sinned in the garden by Adam and Eve, God knew that there would have to be suffering. Even Job didn't sin when he suffered. The suffering was a test of his faith in God, and God allowed it. When we are right in a relationship with God, we are able to endure suffering. God allowed his only son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die that we would come back into fellowship with him and be saved. Through your suffering and trials, God won't fail you. So, basically, God won't fail you when you are suffering, when you have trials. He will take care of you. All you have to do is believe. Have a blessed day.